So uh, what we have here is a uh, question two. A particle of mass uh, two a half a kilogram rests on a smooth horizontal table, stands between two walls ten meters apart. It's attached to the walls by means of two horizontal strings, both of natural length one meter and elastic constant constant nine newtons per meter. It is released from rest when it's three meters away from the right hand wall. Show that the particles perform simple harmonic motion. Okay, now what you do is see this uh, information of your extension when it is three meters. What you do at the very beginning is you actually you actually pretend you don't even know that information at the very very start. Okay, so what you're gonna do pretend you don't know that. Now, in an ideal world, you can see that both both strings are actually the same type of string, aren't they? So the left string and the right string are the same. This would mean in an ideal world they'd both be uh they'd both be it it'd be dead center because they're equally strong. Now we're talking about a general displacement. First of all, we had to prove that the paragle will perform simple harmonic motion. That's the first thing we have to prove in all these things. It'll find us the omega value as well. So what we're gonna do is we're we're gonna get a generic uh distance at the generic displacement x. So this is the position of equilibrium. This is a, just a generic position that we're going to use for the purpose of uh, any, any given length, any given displacement to the right. Now first things first, it's five meters from here to here. So this would make this distance from here all the way to here. Anybody? Five plus X, okay? And then finally, what distance would it make it from here to here? It should be 5 meters to the center, but we've gone x towards it, so 5 minus x. Now, using the uh, the law of stretching, stretching a band, okay, we have f equals your elastic constant multiplied by your current length. That's your current length. Take away your length, your unstretched length. You close that. Okay, so... We have forces left versus forces right. Can anybody tell me which is bigger, FL or FR? According to my diagram, and we're taking it from this position here. Which is bigger, FL or FR? Force dragging it to the left or force dragging it to the right? Sorry? Force dragging to the left is the, is the larger force. Okay? So, what's going to happen is uh, we get force left. Force left is K. What's the K value? K value is 9. What's the L value for force left? What's her total length of her string at this point in time? 5 plus X. What's her length before we stretched it? 1. Okay, and that gives us our force left. It's going to be a 36 plus uh, 9x, right? Or sorry, 36, yeah, 36 plus 9x. Now, what about our FR? Our right-hand force. It's going to be 9 times... What's the length of the right string? 5 minus x. What's the length of uh, its natural length being? Minus 1. That's going to get us... Uh, it's going to get us 4 minus x, which is going to be 30... Okay, it's going to give me 36 minus 9x. Okay, now, your net force, your net force equals MA. MA equals FL minus FR. Okay, now, just one, just one thing to know here, okay? Do you know why our displacement is in the x direction? Yeah? Do you know why our displacement is going to the right? So what we really should be doing is we should be doing FR minus FL. Now let me show you both variations, okay? I'm going to show you both variations. FR versus minus FL or FL minus FR. Here's what happens. Okay, MA is what, guys? It's a half A. Because the mass of an object is a half, 
So it's going to be 36 plus 9x minus bracket 36 bracket minus 9x a half a equals uh, 18x a equals 36x okay if I do the opposite way around it's going to be a half a equals minus 18x do you understand if I reverse the, the if I reverse f if I do fr minus fl all I do is change the sign and then I'm going to get a equals minus 36x which answer actually proves simple harmonic motion the first answer which is positive 36 or the negative answer which is minus 36 negative answer what's the reason for the negative answer it's fitting with the formula that your displacement is always in opposite direction to your acceleration so just remember whichever one you choose make sure you get a negative answer at the end you can, and you can just write a little note saying actually it's fr minus fl chain sign and you're good good to go okay now if you compare these two formulas uh, you basically say uh, it executes simple harmonic motion because of uh, the fact that the acceleration is in the opposite direction to the displacement x hence the minus sign what is the omega value here guys omega value six so the omega value is six the only useful information coming from uh, basically all of this is the fact that omega equals six okay so uh, a equals minus 36x omega equals 6 now we can pretty much just get rid of everything else so what's uh, the second point find how long it will take to reach a point 4 meters from the right hand wall when it is released from rests 3 meters from the wall So we're going to start off three meters from the right-hand wall, and then it wants me to figure out when does it reach a displacement four meters from the right-hand wall. Now, okay. So if it's three meters away from the right-hand wall, that's three meters here, correct? That means five minus x equals. 3 that means x equals 2 okay now your initial displacement is 2 would this make sense in the real world where if I was to pull this par red particle here uh, I'll just call it the blue particle now if I was to pull this blue particle and uh, I'll do it here if I was to pull this blue particle eventually it might let me actually it around there we go okay so I pull this around here does it make sense that if I pull it here and now it gets pulled to the left does it make sense that it'll go all the way down here no it can only go as far as it was p it can only go as far to the left of the equilibrium point as far as it was right of the equilibrium point to begin with okay so it's only a little bubble this far if I was to start here, it could bubble this far. If I was to start at the end, it could go from end to end. But it's only allowed in this little region here. This means the amplitude of your motion is set by how far away from the equilibrium point you release it. That makes sense? Sort of like a slinky, if you pull in the middle, the, the further you pull down the slinky, the higher it'll go up and down. But if you only pull it down a little bit, it'll only go slightly higher. Okay, so what we have here, guys, is basically our amplitude is going to be set at 2. How long is what type of question? How long is what type of question, guys? Huh? How long is a time question, okay? And are we starting at the middle or are we starting at, at an extremity? We're starting at extremity. We're starting at the amplitude equals 2. So if I was to reset this question, what happened is on a smaller scale, if I was to reset this question, what's happening is the full system remains the same. However, 
you're starting at two meters out so you're you're starting at the green point here and then you're going to bobble in and out so you're going to go like this across and back across and back across and back okay so what we have next guys is uh we're going to use we're going to use uh what's it uh, the the x value equals a cos i say cos omega t any idea why we're using a cos omega t instead of a sine omega t extremity okay now what's our a value what's our cos value our, our mega value six from earlier and our x value we're just going to leave here now we're starting at the extremity but it wants me to be four meters away from the right hand wall isn't that correct now four meters away from the right hand wall would be around here the question for the x value is how far am i away from the center one i'm x equals one away remember your x value is always your distance away from the equilibrium point so this means i put in x equals one i get two cos uh, six t i get a uh, six t equals a half second uh, cos six t equals a half uh, somebody cos inverse six t probably have it here uh, cos inverse a half is pi over three so six t equals pi over three t therefore equals pi over 18 seconds okay so it takes pi over 18 seconds to get that done uh, this one here find also its speed at this point what formula will get you to speed at any given x value anybody remember it v squared equals omega squared anything else uh, a squared minus x squared v squared anybody is what we're looking for omega squared is uh, 6 squared which is 36 amplitude squared is 2 squared which is 4 our x value is 1 squared uh, v squared will then equal 3 times 36 which is 108 our v value would therefore be the square root of 108 everybody happy enough with that okay